this little tab here is probably the most important thing that we're going to talk about. And I don't know if you have had difficulty with this, if this comes naturally to it. If I'm going too slow, by all means, let me know. Um, when I was in college and I took my first statics course, the professor would beat free body diagrams into our heads. And at the time, I couldn't figure out why, and now I do. Because everything that we do is based off of free body diagrams and equilibrium. Buildings don't go flying through the air. We're not designing airplanes. We're not designing cars. We're not designing anything that moves. We're designing things that stay put. So everything's got to equal. Um, so equilibrium. These are the three tools that you'll use more than any other tool ever. What goes up has got to equal what it goes down. What goes right has got to equal what goes left. And what goes counterclockwise has got to equal what goes counterclockwise. All right. So what are we talking about here? Our three tools. I should write this up on the uh, pad there. Three tools. Okay, what goes up has got to equal what goes down. So any arrows going up, any loads going up, have to equal to all of the loads going down. What goes right has to equal what's going left. Have to. All of the loads going right have to equal what's going left. And the last one is what goes clockwise has got to always equal what goes counterclockwise. Always, 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 and forever. So the three things we need to keep in mind when we start talking about statics are these. So we've got our little house here. I add up all the snow load and all the weight of the roof on this thing and equals to a thousand pounds. How much is that soil pushing up? One thousand pounds. Okay. Got the same house here. Wind's blowing on it with one thousand pounds. I like round numbers. How much resistance am I getting by the soil down here? 1,000 pounds. That same wind is generating 1,000 pound foot of moment. How much does the weight of the building have to resist? 1,000 pound foot. See how easy this is? Everything's got to equal. Everything's got to equal. So the next concept here, we talked a couple minutes ago about these different um, support types. So we've got our hinge, right? The whole idea with a free body diagram is we free the structure from reality, from everything around it. We break it out and we pull it into space. We replace everything with loads, everything external with loads. So we're given a beam that sits on two supports. We've got to take those supports, get rid of them, and replace them with loads. So we see a hinge. What do we do with a hinge? That's equal to that, and it's equal to that. The direction is not going to matter too much right now. We got our little roller guy here. Well, the roller guy is similar, but all it has is that. It only has the vertical load. Our last one, the fixed connection, that's got all three. So it's got this guy, it's got, the, it's got that guy, plus it's got that guy. 